just to give you one simple example, um, a lot of people, not 99%, but a lot of people are not accountable, are not on time, and don't show up to things when they say they're going to do it over a long period of time. That's just one small example. If you have uh, clients in your business, you wanna be super accountable on time, expect the same for them. You know, I have clients where I've been working with them for three years and no one's missed a call. No one's been late for a call. Um, that's mandatory, at least from my perspective, if I'm gonna be a service provider, I need to be 100% accountable and on the ball and I need that of my clients too. Um, same thing uh, with dating. I'm sure a lot of you guys have experienced uh, dating women who are you know, not on time, who are late, um, who have an excuse. And for my female readers and, and, and wa uh, video watchers, I'm sure you've experienced the same in guys. Um, very difficult to have a relationship with someone unless they can get on that same page with you, okay? Now there's some people who um, you can help get into that next level but they have to have the tools to begin with. They have to have the want and the willingness to begin with. Um, for employees, it's the same thing. Most people start slacking off of the job, start coming in late, start trying to get away with as much as they can. I worked as an employee for a long time, too long, and I saw how much effort people actually put in. I would say out of an eight hour day, most people would put in two to three hours of real focused effort and would start sliding in late until the boss gave them a talking to enough times. And then they would just be another three months and they'd go back to start sliding in late again. That is how a lot of people operate. And what I'm telling you guys in all of my you know, self-improvement videos and um, the course that's gonna be coming out is how to get to that 1%, you know, a 1% physique, 1% um, income, 1% net worth, 1% social skills, um, all those different areas of life, 1% organization, 1% discipline. Okay, and by 1%, I just mean like if you take a handful of 100 people, you're doing better in that particular area than them. It's not like I'm, I'm this is a crazy goal to have a better body than 99%, 99 other guys, right? If you bring together 100 guys, you should because at least 60, 65 out of those 100 guys are gonna be overweight. Just by not being overweight, you know, you're better, you're doing better than, you know, if you're, if you're lean, you're doing better than 90, 90 out of those 100 guys. Um, so that's important to remember. It's not like these are crazy goals. It's just that most people aren't gonna be a fit if you're serious about personal improvement uh, across all areas of life. Um, give you a perfect example, like unless they're a super host on Airbnb, don't stay there because the service is going to be bad. Okay. If they're not a super host, that means that they've got two star, three star ratings in there, which means they're bad. Okay. Even with a super host, you're not guaranteed what I would consider good service, but you've got a higher probability of it being good service and having your expectations managed from the start. Um, if you're not staying with a super host, I can guarantee you that your expectations will not be in line with the reality of what that property is actually looking like, as well as you will not get good service, unless they're new and they don't have a track record yet. But why gamble on someone without a track record? That's how I feel with relationships, you know? There's a lot of guys with potential out there, but why gamble? I'd rather spend my limited free time with people that are already doing well. And for my clients in my business, you know, I want to help winners win more. I want to work with guys who are already doing well, or they're already doing well in some areas and other areas they want to lift up. Like they're making a lot of money, but the, you know, he's got a few pounds that he wants to lose and he wants to be happier in his life and, and um, perhaps you know, you get higher quality women or something like that. But he's already doing well. You know, that whole zero to hero thing, I'm gonna leave that for somebody else because I can't guarantee that I'm gonna get a result for somebody. But if you sign up with my coaching 
and we do a consultation and I get a feel for you, like I know I'm gonna be able to move you forward. And I know that for however long you're a, you're a client with me, it, it's gonna be a beneficial process for, for both of us and you're gonna leave with a result. If I'm betting on someone's potential, it's, it's more difficult. It's more difficult. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm happy. I've helped guys start and succeed in businesses. But these were already guys who were succeeding in other areas. Um, they already had the tools. Um, you know, I could tell that they were, they were winners. Okay. They were just young and hadn't done it yet. I'm also sure that those guys would have succeeded most likely without me just would have taken them longer and um, they would have made a lot more mistakes along the way and, and all these things. So ideally for whatever type of relationship um, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for, I'm looking for that 1%. Um, even if it's just as simple as friendship, you know, you only have a limited amount of time during the week. And if you're an entrepreneur, you might only have one or two nights at the most for, for seeing friends, right? Why be friends, you know, with people that are going to be late or unaccountable or um, not respond to messages or be negative or not have things on the ball and on the go when when you could also choose to spend time with people who have all those things. So if you're struggling to find, um, you know, those one percent relationships. It's probably because you don't have enough value and probably because you don't have enough volume. One of those two things or both of those combined. One of the cool things about having this site since 2012 is um, I feel like I've provided value to a decent amount of people. So it's expanded my network. Um, I've got that, that, been able to share that value and to reach a lot of people. So I can screen out and be quite selective for whether it's clients or friends or all those different aspects um, and and it's been super useful um, so if you have a similar business that's another place where you can you know you you can become friends with your clients it's something that that I've done um, so that's something to keep in mind um, if you are struggling with those one percent relationships add value, you know, become more valuable and reach more people. Um, and if you're in the early phase of your business career, you, you don't really actually want much of a social circle right now because it's going to take too much time away from your, um, from playing the business game. What you would ideally want is, is just one quality girlfriend to see like three nights a week while you're grinding away. Um, maybe see your guy friends once every Thursday. Um, now keep in mind that I don't mean to sound like a snob or like, you know, 99% of people are not worth um, respect or, you know, uh, are not loved in God's eyes. They, they, they totally are. They just might not be a good fit for what you're doing. And also keep in mind that I'm not saying that like you, the guys you're friends with need to have a lot of money and like be super successful or anything like that. Um, it's not, that is not the criteria, the primary criteria for a friend. To me, it's like um, kindness, agreeability, politeness, accountability, sense of humor, all these other things are more important than how successful that guy is. However, if that guy is successful and I can learn from him and perhaps maybe he can learn some things from me, that certainly is a value add.